It's an adventure, and I am glad to say that I'm part and honored to be part of that with you all. I would like all the parents of our fifth grade students to please stand to be recognized for the efforts that you've put in, all of the lunch money that you have found. We have many staff members that are also out there. If you're a staff member of Steeple Chase, please stand and be recognized for your efforts in helping our students perform. Started by construction not being on time, then being on time, then being delayed. Um, it started with the construction of this amazing facility and then hiring the very best people that we could put in front of your children. Ms. Deal and I spent about 150 hours interviewing people and candidates, telling people yes or no. We kind of felt like we were judges for a while. We had rebound from COVID vaccine and the impact, we saw the impact of what it has done to students and we were able to pick the, up those pieces. We were able to help our students, were able to help us pick our school mascot and develop a school vision and mission statement. We had procedures to get in place. We asked for feedback from parents and students and staff members and even our community. We started our year with a ribbon cutting ceremony that opened our doors. Uh, we later became a leader in e-school, which empowers students with leadership and life skills that they need to thrive in the 21st century. We use this philosophy to start student ambassador programs and frame a flag raising clubs and earth clubs, choir, intramural basketball teams and archery teams, book clubs, academic teams, quick recall, future problem solving clubs, Odyssey of the Mind, Girls on the Run, after school ESS programs, summer school programs, musicals, and even leader of the month recognition programs. We added parent and teacher organizations to include our first PTO and our first site-based council. We had community partnerships with NKU, Fidelity Investment, R.A. Jones Manufacturing, Coesia, FedEx, Seven Hills, First Baptist Church, First Christ of Church, and our very own parent communities right here in our neighborhood. And let's not forget that that all happened before winter break. So good job, everyone. In preparation today, I found a quote that I'd like to share with you that I've shared with many other um, students at graduation. It's important to me came from a family member. At the core of who we are lay the roots of those who have influenced our lives the most, and the impact of what they have exposed us to will always be there. When the foundation is laid with love, commitment, and dedication, our lives will reflect that of which we have been taught. Just like this building, the foundation was laid by each and every one of you. History is being made again tonight. Brick by brick, room by room, we have made this a very special place this year. Your foundation and roots have been laid by your parents and your teachers here at Steeplechase and even your teachers at your previous schools. Remember that education is powerful. Through education, you can achieve any goal that you have in your eyes on. So set your goals high and defy obstacles that are in your way. Let education help mold your future and create the life that you want to have. This year, our mission statement at Steeple Chase was every student will leave Steeple Chase Elementary School as a passionate leader who is empathetic, resilient, and a responsible citizen. Our vision was that we would collaborate to ensure a safe and supportive environment in which all students are motivated and celebrated as they achieve high levels of growth and learning. And I am happy to say that this group of scholars that are in front of you had tremendous growth and accomplishment. In fact, our third, fourth, and fifth grade students here at Steeple Chase Elementary School had the third highest growth in the district in reading and in math. So that says a lot about these students that are in front of you. We want to work today. Let's start celebrating these outstanding scholars. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Harkins, our fourth and fifth grade choir teacher and music teacher. So if you are in the choir and you're in the fifth grade, please stand.
start with the All A Honor Roll. Congratulations to the following students who made the A Honor Roll by earning all A's on each term report card in every subject area for the entire school year. For Mrs. Cooper's class, we have Rachel Griffith, Nora Hill, and Amaya McClendon. If you all would hold your applause to the end for all of them, that would be awesome. Um, the All-A Honor Roll for Mrs. Larison's class was Addie Heron and John George. For Ms. McClendon's class, Kelsey Nopal and Raymond Reed. Class, 
Amira Commodore Everson, and Thomas Price. For Ms. Monroe's class, Davier Smith and Eliana Gert. Our next awards are academic area achievements. Our next awards will be given to the top two students from each class who have the highest final grade average in each subject area. Congratulations to the following students. For Mrs. Cooper's class in ELA, or English and Language Arts, is Rachel Griffith and Lillian Cromie. <laughs> in math, Jack Corrin and Nora Hill. For Social Studies, Amaya McClendon and Jack Corrin. <laughs> in Mrs. Larison's class for ELA, John George and Addie Heron. Marielle Anenu and Addie Heron. For social studies, Alfred Shaka Nayembo, Addie Heron, and Marielle Anenu. For Ms. McClendon's class in ELA, Raymond Reigns and Kelsey Nopal. For math, Matias Valera Lopez and Raymond Reed. For social studies, Raymond Reed and Thomas Price. For Ms. Monroe's class, for ELA, Sophia Smith and Joseph Ryan. For Matt, Sophia Smith and Joseph Ryan. <laughs> For Mrs. Cooper's class, Noah Meister and Matthew Weisenberg. <laughs> For Mrs. Larison's class, Grace Maldonado Gavino and Ray Sabayalani. <laughs> For Ms. McClendon's class, Felix Mejia Sinto and Isaac Muchupule. Matias Valera Lopez. 
Oscar Hart, Johnny Chick, and Reese Johnson. Christine, Bailey Alex Perkins, and Carlos Anthony Zerbo Herrera. Christine, Carlos Anthony Zerbo Herrera, and Araylin Stanley. And the world language, Jack George, and Bailey Alex Perkins. For Miss Monroe's class in music, we have Eliana McGurth and Xander Hodson. In art, we have Sophia Smith and Ricardo Rodriguez. Steam, Corey Nelson and Sophia Smith. Gigi, Eliana McGurth and Liam Perry. In world language, Y. Benzelwitz and Madeline Harris. Mrs. Cooper's class, will you stand please? Xavier Burkhart. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. 
Alicia Kobe. Grace Maldonado. William Monroe. Nathan Montgomery. Josh Perez. McKinley Reed. Alfred Chaparrillo.
All right. All right, this one works that's going to the seat. In closing, boys and girls, I just want to tell you how proud of you I am. Each and every one of you will hold a very special place in my heart and in the hearts of the Steeple Chase staff and teachers here. We wish nothing but the best for you and never forget your time here at the Chase. Congrats to the first class to be promoted from Steeple Chase Elementary School and the future high school graduating class of 2029. Thank you all and giddy up stallions. Project all year long on how we can commemorate this time. And one of the things that is very fitting, we are going to take a ceiling tile down from each of your homeroom classes, and we're going to have your students sign that. And that will be record, we put back up in the ceiling tile, so that will forever be the very first class that you walk through this building. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. done a magnificent job of helping us prepare to tonight, but I also want to thank these young ladies up here, our fifth grade teachers, and our teachers over here, Mrs. Janoski and Mrs. Parkins, that's also here as well, who's helped make this presentation and performance very good for us, so let's give them a round of applause too. We do have, our PTO was able to get us cookies and, and water for everyone. We also have a photo booth that's out there um, in the main lobby area out there. So feel free, what we will do is we will take the children out first with their teachers and then we'll let the parents come down and you guys can get pictures taken there with the teachers and all that. So let's start here with the Simone Rose class. 